uh, of recent I heard that somebody was talking and saying that uh, Pastor Adeboye is uh, getting the power he uses from uh, some demons at redemption camp. And some people say, aren't you going to answer this one? I said, ha. We should be praying because this man is uh, committing the unpardonable sin. When somebody begins to give the glory of the Holy Spirit to demons, that's what Jesus Christ said. That's what they said to Jesus about Jesus. They said uh, he's casting out demons using the power of demons. And Jesus Christ said, mm, "Well, that fellow is." Not only doomed in this world, but is doomed in the world to come. So when you hear somebody say that kind of thing, you should just pray for mercy for such a fellow. So even Jesus Christ had this red line. He said, if you sin against God the Father, you'll be forgiven. Sin against God the Son, you'll be forgiven. That you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, so you are finished. As rich in mercy as God is, uh, you cross that red line. So, as usual, a man, you are done for. Don't, I don't really know this person, accused uh, uh, Pastor E.A. Adebo, the general overseer of the Christian Church of God, accused him of using some demonic powers from, uh, from the tension camp. Now, this is not the first time all these demonic sponsored people, agents of the devil, will come up to accuse men of God, men who have track record for more than 40 years they have been in active service in the house of God. There is nothing, nothing negative or nothing, you know, sinful or nothing, uh, anything that has to do with scandal against them. Now, you must know that these are people that the, the likes of that the Freeze are recruiting, that the Freeze who could not even keep his own marriage. He recruits in you know, all these young boys and young ladies and he will push them to go and be bringing condemnation to themselves. Well, you heard what the Jesus said. He made it clear that the person is committing an unpardonable sin by saying that the, the, you know, the power of God that is not personal in this man of, uh, man's life, that it is from the devil. And he's not going to, uh, uh, Pastor Ian yeah, Deboe will not fight the person, will not attack the person. In fact, the person is going to face the full rod of God. Something you are not sure of, something you cannot prove, you don't have evidence for. You just wake up somewhere and then probably uh, this person must come from social media. You have data, you have phone, you put it out there, you started talking rubbish. That if you say the. the, the they, I, 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 because I'm actually talking about that free because he tested his own with tight, tight this, tight that. But after some time, he came up to tell Najib that even while he was criticizing the tightening, he was still paying tight. What sort of preacher is that? What sort of, uh, uh, sort of leader is that? So he told you that the man is committing an unpardonable sin, telling the people, you know, telling Nigeria, or telling the world that he is using charm that he got from the nation camp that you cannot prove and he's telling that his power is from God God gave him the power now if he using it if he's using a charm for the nation camp he would have been discovered maybe 10 years of, of his service 20 years of his service this man has been active for more than 40 getting to 50 years and someone is here to tell us nonsense so here is what I've got to say it is better you say what you know than for you to say what you don't know and bring condemnation to themselves. Someone that has been in service for God knows more than 40 years has a good track record and people are following. Do you know how many members the Dean Christian Church of God had? Do you know how many members the Dean has before this man when he became a general overseer? And how many, in fact, Every every junction, every uh, in, in fact, currently now, ridiculous churches of God, you count their you know, church building from pole to pole. The church is expanded, and someone is talking nonsense. You know, as his manner is, he will not even talk much about the person, but he's telling others who might join this terrible trend, the dangers associated with it, that 
your own sin will not be forgiven. And it is between you and God. The man doesn't know you and wouldn't care to know you. But Nigerians must be careful.